Welcome to the handover video of your auto sleepers Kingham. We'll start around the outside of the vehicle. So on the passenger side, this is where fuel goes. So flap opens there. So diesel in the top and add blue in the bottom. When you get the light on the dashboard, um, to say add blues, add blues running low, that's the time to get it topped up. If I open passenger door, we have toolkit under the front passenger seat. So toolkit is in there. Bonnet release is also passenger side. So when the doors open, you'll have bonnet release on here. Vehicle battery is located under the floor panel in front of the passenger seat and unclips. Bonnet catch is, you'll feel it just in the middle there, is your seat better when open it, it's just there. The bonnet to hold it open goes in there and slide it over to lock it in place. Right over in the driver's side, right tucked in the corner, is your screen wash. And you've got little bits there to undo this. Um, and this would give you access for your power steering, your coolant and your brake fluid. Normally you wouldn't need to touch these. Um, should the for oil filler is in there and dipstick is right down in the front. Should you need to jump start the vehicle, what you would do is, this is the negative pole, so you clip the negative on here. And right down in here, you usually need the key to open it, but I pre-opened it. That opens up and there's a little spade, so the positive connection would go in there. On the driver's side of the vehicle, we have the filler point for the LPG gas, which is an underslung tank. Um, further back from that, we've got the uh, 240 volt power. Uh, what we always say to people, common sense you may know anyway, is uh, to switch the power is connect the van first, then switch the power on. Don't want to be walking about with a, a cable and wet grass, etc. Further back from that, we have the water fill. Just beside that, if you're on a fully serviced site, we have water would be there. And back from that, we have further up a connection for satellite TV. Hmm. The fresh and grey water taps are located at the back of the vehicle, so fresh and grey. Hey, this is the exhaust for the heating system, um, so sometimes it can get clogged up with uh, dust and dirt, so just make sure it's uh, kept clear. If we open the back doors of the vehicle, I'll open both up. Um, over here, this is um, your heating, or boiler. So. The drain for the boiler is on the top there, is that yellow valve there. And also the isolator tap for your gas is here. So across the way would be to switch it off. On the other side, we've got cassette toilet. So low catch just there. Lift it and it should pull quite out easily. If there is any resistance, check inside the toilet just to make sure the blade switched across. Take it out, it's got a little handle underneath to pull it. To empty it, loosen the cap, hold it and you've got a button there to let air in behind it. On the cap to put your chemicals in, just measure it in there, put some water in it, clean it out, and just slide it back in the vehicle. All the way in until it clicks, and that's a lot. On the rear passenger side, uh, you go an external barbecue point, so it was up there for barbecue. Just inside the door, you've got the handle for your awning. Uh, so that just pops out. Hook in the end with the cake in there and you can wind out the awning. So just the cake's in there. Start to turn it anti-clockwise. And the awning would come out. Once you wind the awning out, uh, um, the legs are sprung loaded and will pop out and drop. So if you put it out at an angle, put it down, 
and to lock it in place just push up you continue with the other side and walk out once the awning is out and fully out you would use these braces as an illustration there to help support it powered step button is just here and you'll see a step come out on the control screen uh, to wake it up just touch it so now walking up the screen press that button and it will put the power on um, so we'll have got water pump is there so it switch the water pump on touch that these two buttons basically do the same thing but it just shows whichever screen first so we'll touch that one it will show your water levels uh, you can toggle between the two as well so that will go to battery levels so that's your leisure battery that's your vehicle battery um, that's the current battery active batteries what's happening on it um, mains current we're currently plugged into the mains at the moment um, and it's not a very sunny day and it's also it's, if the battery is fully charged it won't actually send the power to it go back to main screen you'll see what i mean this does the same thing but the other way around it takes you to the battery indicator first of all then scrolls to the water levels back on home on this side is your lights so lights are on just now touch it with switch lights on for inside this is also your awning light so for inside and outside um, battery so which battery you're actually drawing power from so at the moment it's l for leisure if i touch it it will switch to v for vehicle battery bottom right is settings first one i'll take is to heating settings um, this one is if you're controlling it from here to control it from this panel you can touch that and you can set in different timers for when heating goes on and off uh, this is your source so every time you touch it so it'll go from gas to electricity to mix or back to gas this is for your heating side so for the blower is on there all instructions are in the manual which obviously comes with the vehicle as well next screen across is um, your active battery select so at the moment it's on leisure battery uh, you could switch it to vehicle battery but that if you use the power too much or lights too much would drain the vehicle battery you could have it on smart uh, we do recommend that you have it on leisure battery and not smart because if the leisure battery goes down smart facility will change it to vehicle battery and could run down the vehicle battery to the point where the vehicle may not start uh, solar battery again it's where the solar power is charging which battery uh, you can have leisure you can have vehicle or you can have smart and as one gets to fully charged the smart system would change it to vehicle battery and keep them both topped up automatic tank fill this powers the outside uh, water level to fill the tank and you've got tank heaters for both waste and fresh water as well next screen across is a uh, lights so main light is on you can also have it by default so when you switch the lights on the awning light goes on um, it's off just now it's a personal choice next screen is um, the timeout for this screen here so you can have it set to one minute one minute is long enough it'll time out to wake it up to touch the screen again also you can set the lighting levels on it you can set the beep you can set a water level alarm or tank full beeps on it as well back to home screen just there to switch it off touch that panel on your wheel heating system um, switch the screen on first or switch power on here first top one is for hot water there's no water in the vehicle at the moment so we can show you that handover bottom one is for heating press it once it will change where the power source is coming from um, so it will draw 600 1200 or 1800 depending on the power source depending where you're plugged into uh, gas gas and electric and off temperature control is there so hotter colder to prime the hot water fill the fresh water tank open the tap make sure it's in the hot position and once you've got constant running flow of water you know you're safe to put on the hot water it's a three burner hob 
Um, gas is on at the moment, um, so to light it, uh, I'll light this one, push in, igniter is there, turn, hold it for a second or two until the thermocouple heats up, then you can release. Turn it off, anti-clockwise. Uh, it's important that you don't close the lid uh, while there is a flame. Um, it is glass, it's shatterproof glass, but it's not heat resistant, it would shatter. Same thing, to light oven or grill, so that would be oven, that would be grill. So to light oven, push in, turn, hold in for a second, then release and that will steal it. Grill, same thing, but opposite direction, push in, turn, This is the fridge, it's a three-way fridge. Power button is there to switch it on. Um, select button is there. At the moment it's an automatic and we're plugged into a 240 volt, so it's taking it from there. To change setting, press it on there. So it's now not on auto, but it's still taking it from 240 volt. Press it again. We'll show an error code uh, because it's taking it from vehicle battery. So when vehicle is running, uh, it would power the fridge and keep things cool but it'll show an error because the vehicle's not running at the moment. Press it again and it would switch to gas. Uh, this one here is for the temperature control. So the more bars you've got on, the cooler the temperature inside the fridge. To switch off completely, same power button, just press and hold. For the toilet, uh, you'll see in the top there, it's closed at the moment. Little switch on the front or lever in the front to open the blade. And that's it open. Lever in the front just to close it again. That's it closed. Hatch under the main bench seat is there. Um, so this is your power. So we'll have fuses under the flap on the left. On the one on the right is your RCD switches or circuit breakers. We have power source to switch off completely shut down there. We have switch here for charger so it's on at the moment. You can't switch it off. And we have switched there for water heater. Again, you can switch it on and off. Cab lines um, there, so to close over, uh, just be careful with them. Uh, one important thing is to make sure, especially on the front screen, is that they're located back and locked properly. The last thing you want them doing is moving about while you're driving. A uh, fairly standard cab. Um, so we have buttons for phone. Uh, we have sound controls in there. Uh, cruise control is in the stock under here. Uh, this is a manual, so six-speed manual. Reverse is lift up across to the right and forward. Um, heating and air conditioning controls, so aircon on and off. Selection for where the air is coming from. Fan speed and temperature at the top. We've got a 12 volt DC. We've also got a USB connection there. Working from left to right, we've got a airbag warning symbols on there. A button for heated mirrors, no heated screen in this because of the vehicle it is. A deadlocks to lock the vehicle but not set alarm system inside the vehicle. A hazard warnings and a hill start assist. We hope your vehicle brings you lots of joy and lots of happiness and lots of miles and lots of smiles. If you do need any help, you know where we are. Just simply pick up the phone and give us a call and anybody here at Highland Camper Vans would be happy to help.